Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tip video from Spotfire. My name is Ethereum Attar, I'm a lead data scientist. We will talk today about the distance matrix data function in Spotfire. So basically the distance data function calculates a distance matrix between two sets of lat and long values. And in our example, we will use a real oil field uh, scenario. For example, if we have an oil field that has a group of injectors and producers, and we want to identify the nearest n producers to our selected injectors. So we start by inserting the uh, data function and you can uh, simply uh, look up the data function name if you have it. So uh, we can type uh, distance matrix. And then since I have the function saved here in the library, I can select it in your case. You can uh, look it up in your library. You can go to fx and then see if the function available here. If it's not, uh, you can either uh, look, in, uh, look in the library if the function is available in your library, or you can uh, import it and I will leave the website where you can get the, uh, the function file. So after we, uh, we bring the function, so uh, let's, um, let's repeat the process here. Find in the library uh, distance matrix. So here's the function. Double click on it, and then, mm -hmm. then uh, you can start uh, filling the acquired fields. Uh, and just to uh, mention here, you can use the same table to define both uh, the first long, long and lap set, and then the second long and lap set. And then let me show you how is the uh, input data look like. So this is the well data, and then we basically have the lat long and then well ID, and the type type is either producer or injector. Uh, so going back to our function, which is here, uh, let's go back to the configuration. Uh, so you can see that uh, we use the same um, let and long uh, columns from the input table. And then the ID, what will that do is it will generate uh, a set of distances for every well combination. The output table, it can be accessed here. Uh, it has 9,801 row, which is basically the multiplication of the length of the input data. So, uh, well data, 99, if we multiply uh, 99 times 99, we will get this number. Uh, this is just a way to uh, verify that uh, your output data size uh, is correct. Now. After we got the distance matrix, uh, we want to uh, put that, let's say, in use. And then uh, what I created here, uh, this is a map chart. And then basically it has uh, two layers. The first layer, uh, it's the distance matrix. matrix uh, and then the second layer is the well data. And you can, you can swap these off. Uh, so the user will select an injector here and then uh, based on uh, a predefined cluster size, uh, the number of uh, nearest uh, producers will be highlighted. So for example, if we select this injector, then we have four producers uh, highlighted. Uh, if we change the cluster size, for example, we make it five, then uh, another producer will be added. Uh, so this is one of the uses of uh, the distance matrix data function. Uh, in order to achieve this uh, ranking uh, and also the response to uh, the cluster size, I added a simple line to the data function and, and thanks to Spotfire, our language support, we can always uh, edit the function and add additional functionality. So I added this functionality in order to output a rank column here. Uh, so we can use that rank column to select the nearest n uh, wells. Okay, so I hope this was uh, useful. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.